Well, welcome back everybody to the first tunnels build. I know, I know, I'll get there in the end. Anyway, doing the uh, the base rails, pretty straightforward, you just bolt wood to the, to the uprights. Just a couple of things uh, that I think might be useful to people. Join in the timber. The easiest way I found is to have a couple of extra clamps clamping up to a level this is just going on where the join is and then if you clamp a spare bit of wood to the back and clamp it together that'll hold it in position plus having this here means that when you're putting your nail plates on you, you've got a bit of support so the, the thing's not doing this all the time. All right, I'll show you what I mean. I'll just nail one up. Right, so we've got our bits joined up, pushed together, our backing board clamped on. Now I'll show you what I mean. Well, you've got your nail plate, whack that on. By the end of this build, you will become a nailing ninja. Stick your nail in. Do one on each side and then knock it around, bring it level. Then when you stick another couple in, it'll hold it in place. See, and that backing board stops it all doing that. All right, and then when you've done that side, Swap it over, nail up the other side. All right, beauty. Pushing on now. Right, so the clamps for the base rails, pretty straightforward, but the base rails, we're gonna be lifting up and then pushing back down to tension the, the sheet that goes over it. And I might wanna do that in the future again so me being me to stop this corroding what i'm going to do you know, i've done it to what well, every thread on the build so far even the the top rails everything i'm using some of this i hope that's in focus coppery's anti-seize assembly compound commonly known as copper grease and what you do little brush and coat it all around the threads. That will help prevent it going rusty. So in the future, if you need to undo these for retightening the sheet or something, it'll stop it going rusty and it'll probably make it possible to do that in the future. All right, so that's what I'm doing. Probably over the top, I know, that's the way I roll. Bit of copper grease. So in the future, you can undo your nuts. Giggity. Right. Let's stick them in. Right, so fitting this couldn't be easier. I mean, it's, it's in the instructions, but I'm just going to show you anyway, just because why not? It's a sunny day. Drill your nine mil hole. You haven't got to be too precise with this. In the middle. And we've got our lovely coppered up bolts. Stick them through. Couple of nuts. The only real reason I'm showing you this is because of the socket. And that'll make more sense in a minute. Right, 
seed tray. Really handy if keeping all your bits in. Anyway, I digress. You use a 13 mil socket, but because of the length of the thread, you'll need either a medium or a deep socket. Otherwise, your bog standard socket, because of the length of the thread, it won't grip the, the nut. And you've got them done up. And when I finally finished, I don't know if that's in, in focus. The other thing I bought, I know way over the top, but it's just me, is top hat nut covers. And all I've done is put a bit of grease inside that, banged it on, and that will protect the thread and the nut, and it won't catch on anything, or at least not as badly as that. All right, so that's the only reason I've shown you all this, mainly because of the socket. All right, that's it. Base rails, beauties. Do the rest out. Right. Just a quick thing on nail plates. When you put them on, put them on so the holes are opposed to each other. So don't put them on. Like that either side, otherwise all the holes line up, put them on. So the holes don't line up. There, that makes sense, doesn't it? Otherwise, all the holes are in the same place, and if, you, if you're really accurate, you end up banging the nails out both sides. Just thought I'd share that. All right, so that's all the, pretty much all the timber up. All the base rails are in at the ends and up the sides, and that second rail is there because I've got side ventilation up one side, so uh, that's to attach that. And because we took our time and put in the foundations well, it was really easy to do because everything's nice and straight. There's a bit of warpage in the wood, but that's wood, isn't it? Uh, I have got to get some 8B1 and fill in underneath here because of the slope. There's different ways of doing it. You can drop this down, but I didn't want to do that. I wanted to keep it level as I could. So I'm going to fill those in with a bit of 8B1. That's purely my choice. Um, oh, look at me shadow. Hello, everybody. So that's it. Most of the woodwork done. Well, pretty much all of it now. All we've got to do now is put a sheet on it. Just need some weather. So that's it to the next one. Thanks for watching. Cheers and gone.